welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This goes by friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is a craft. It's not crochet or knit. It's actually making these little mini pom-pom hats. I saw these online and I actually thought it was actually quite fun. So I'm going to show you how to make this. If you have a toilet nearby you probably have a roll. So we're gonna be cutting a piece of this roll out which then is inside this brim and then we're gonna be cutting the strands and I'm gonna show you some tips today to make this miniature hat. And you step number one measure about a half inch away from the edge and once you think you got it you can pretty much just eye it out from there. So about a half inch and if you wanna be more uh, measure more around you can. So without breaking the tubing just kind of fold it in a way just like this just so that you can get a little piece of it so that you can stick the scissors. If you have an exacto blade you could probably get it in there easier as well. And there is the ring. You can use it and make more. So let's uh, continue along with our journey. Today's yarn is Red Heart Huga. So it actually is a number five yarn. So if you're looking at the back it's number five. You can use any size yarn that you wish because really the brim is dependent on filling it up. So I'm just gonna measure about 14 inches and then pinch and then pull and then bam 14 inches and then pinch. So just fold it and bam. 14 inches. You need to do about 30 strands using this yarn with the standard size toilet roll. If you have the strand a little bit bigger it's okay because we are going to cut the top of that anyway. So I'm gonna stop here. I don't have enough yet but I just got a lot in my hand already so I'm just gonna snip it. Now before you disorganize this just grab it and you will find the loops that are in the ends. So just put in the scissors and just cut those loops so that they are no longer looped. And you'll do that on both sides. So just grab the other side and do the same thing. So grabbing a strand you wanna fold it in half. You're gonna do this for each. Take the cardboard and insert into the inside and then just using your two fingers you can open it up and pull through like this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna pull it and see how it's crossing over here. This is the bottom side of the hat and just pull and it's relatively snug but not too tight so that you can still move it around on here if you have to. So then just kinda let it rest so just grab another one and always go in the same direction. So I'm feeding it from this side and then I'm just opening it up and if you wanna use a crochet hook you can but this is intended not to use a crochet hook today. So you're just going to pull and slide it next to it. So you wanna put enough of these in here so that the cardboard is completely disappeared on the inside. So continue to load so up as your I'm filling it up I wanna make sure I'm just checking this and just keep on sliding things around. So you want it nice and tight around that brim so you look like you have some space for more. So as my friend Anita would say always room for more. So let's uh, begin to do that and keep on adding until you cannot see that cardboard anymore. So my brim is pretty full so what I wanna do just rotate around it. Just tug on those strands. Just tighten them up a little bit. What we need to do is that when we do the actual hat itself of this knot here we don't want it shifting around. So we, when we go to push this through we want to keep them right where they are sitting. So just kinda tugging on the little strands and you're getting any slack out that is there and you're also kind of inspecting to make sure that there's no major gaps. Now we're going to take just a chunk of the strands and just without changing the position of these just kind of push them through. So just do a little bit at a time and just kind of pinching down so that you don't pull that knot that is on the end. So just do a few. Okay so you wanna keep that there and just keep rotating just pushing a few more every time you're rotating. So just pushing the last few through to the other side. Now give it a good shake. Okay and just kinda tighten things up and you wanna lay it down. So now we wanna measure about three inches towards the bottom of the brim to right about here. So let's take our measuring tape and let's grab a spare piece of yarn from your ball and we're going to be using this to cut a knot. So let's just take a look at where three inches is. So it's approximately there and this is just eyeing it up and sliding it under and going. So what I want you to do is that I want you to tie this and before you pull it really tight 
just kind of hold it for a second and just kind of tug on those yarn strands to make sure that you have all the slack you want. Okay and make sure it looks pretty even too. So now just tie this shut. So now you're going to trim that particular yarn really short. So now we have to make a pom pom but before you do what I would suggest to you is put a little bit of stuffing inside this hat. So just a little bit of stuffing and it will keep it a little bit full looking like that. And now you wanna cut your pom pom area. So you, just using your scissors and just eyeing it up and cut the remaining strands that you would. So now that I have the pom pom cut what I want to do is just pinch around the top of here and I wanna take a brush or anything that can separate the plies and just securely like really snug holding it just brush out your yarn. Now that I gave it a good brush what I want to do is kinda look at it again and I wanna trim it even more. Now that I trimmed it again I want to keep on brushing. And now that I brushed it again I just wanna give it another little trim just to kinda shape it a little bit better. And then when you're happy with it just give it a really good shake to get those extra fibers out of the pom pom and just trim off anything that you see that's abnormal and then shape and then you're good to go. So it's a, a hat with their own oversized pom pom. You can do any size pom poms that you wish and this is a really fun little craft. So hopefully you can enjoy and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.